Hello there, my name's Kevin and I run developer relations here at Directus. And today I'm going to show you what's new in Directus version 10.6. Extension building guides. We heard from you that you didn't quite know what guides we had available in our documentation because of the way they were organized. So we've now changed that and created a set of index pages for various areas of our guides so you can see what's available to make the most of Directus. Today we're also releasing a new set of guides to help you build extensions from scratch, right through from initializing and boilerplating, step-by-step -step code instructions, and finally how to actually install extensions into your director's project. There are 15 available today in our documentation, with more coming soon. Replacing VM2 with isolated VM. Prior to this release, Directus relied on VM2 to run code in the run script operations of Flows, our automation feature. VM2 is now unmaintained with some serious security issues that could potentially allow code to escape the sandbox and access the machine on which your Directus project is running. So in Directus 10.6, we've replaced it with isolated VM. Now at the same time, the run script operation was really only ever intended for simple data manipulation. And as we haven't yet found an adequate way to run arbitrary packages and code uh, inside of flows without VM2, we've removed this functionality. What this means in practice is if you are you know, requiring or importing NPM packages inside of the run script operation, that will no longer be supported. And instead, you will need to expose those NPM packages as custom operation extensions. And fortunately, we have a guide in our new extension building set that shows you exactly how to do this. You should consider this a required upgrade for the security of your director's project. Redact environment variables in logs for flows. This update is pretty straightforward. You can log values when using flows for debugging and accountability. And when you are logging environment variables, which should always be treated as sensitive, Directus 10.6 will now redact the values of those in your logs, keeping the values safe. A new developer blog and guest author program. Inside of our documentation is a brand new developer blog with regular tutorials, tips and tricks, and best practices to help you get the most of Directus. To accompany the blog is our brand new guest author program, where we will guide you through creating an awesome technical blog post and pay you for your time. One place to find breaking changes. A small but important update to our documentation is a new section called releases, which links out to our full set of releases on GitHub, but also contains a page with all breaking changes across various versions of directors. So before you upgrade, you can take a look here to understand what's changing and what steps you may need to take for ongoing success of your project. Our community is wicked cool. There have been a number of patch releases since 10.5, so in this section we're going to thank all of the amazing community members who have contributed in all of those patches and 10.6. Thank you to Matthew, Ilya and Maurice for fixing some broken links in our documentation. Thank you to Nabosia and Mingyu for fixing some small typos in our documentation. Thank you to Bevis for further improving the SDK examples across our API reference in our documentation. And thank you to Gerard for their contribution, which reuses already calculated values in Directus. Directus 10.6 is now available in Docker Hub and on NPM. Thank you ever so much for joining me and we'll see you in the next release.